Hi, my name is Brian Serva Nutanix. I'm part of the tech marketing team. In this video, we're going to talk about upgrades using Lifecycle Manager, also known as LCM. If we, I'm already logged into Prism. If we go up to the menu and uh, choose LCM, and I've clicked on the inventory tab. Now to speed things up, I've already run an inventory. You can set the inventory service to run on a daily basis automatically for you or you can run it ad hoc as you choose. What the inventory does is it goes out and grabs all the software and firmware versions of everything in the cluster and then presents it back to you from here. And then based upon that, it will recommend the available updates that you have for you. So you can see we're looking at the inventory here for our cluster. And if we go to the updates, we'll choose software. And we can see we have both a newer version of the AOS version we're running and the corresponding AHV version. Now, there are versions in between the one that we're running and the one that it's recommending, which is uh, on the newer strain, uh, newer side of this uh, version that we're running. So if we click the other versions, we have the option that we could choose something uh, in between uh, if there was a compelling reason uh, to do so. We're going to stick with the latest recommend version and we're going to choose both uh, HV and AOS and upgrade them at the same time. LCM will handle all the dependencies and do this in a uh, non-disruptive uh, node by node manner. Now it will grab these bits from the Nutanix support portal off the internet automatically. Uh, or if you don't have internet connectivity, you can upload them to the cluster yourself um, or uh, you could have a local uh, repository in your site uh, as another option that you could point LCM to. Now let's uh, go to the upgrade plan, but just before we do that, uh, one thing of note is we do recommend you run the NCC check. What that does is it runs hundreds of checks on your cluster, and it makes sure that uh, configurations are done and that there's no um, you know, issues before you upgrade. And really what you're looking for there is you don't want any failed uh, of the checks. If there are, you should remediate them and then proceed with your upgrade. Since this is just a test demo, we're gonna look at our upgrade plan. It's gonna generate one here uh, for the versions that we selected and then we'll just proceed with our upgrade. Now let's apply the updates and we're ready to go. Now this process can uh, take a little bit of time uh, since we are upgrading both the AOS and AHV version of each node in the cluster, depending on the number of nodes in your cluster, you know, will we'll, you know, greatly vary the amount of time that it takes. So this is a four node cluster, so this could be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. So we'll just uh, let this process run and then pick back up once it's completed. Picking back up here, you can see our upgrade is completed. It has finished our AOS and our AHV upgrade, done all the checks, and everything is completed successfully. So if we click the return to updates, um, let's look at the inventory, and we are now on the uh, latest version that it upgrade, and our upgrades have completed. So it did both a um, AOS and an AHV upgrade, uh, at the same time, it can also do other supporting, uh, you know, features such as um, LCM itself, foundation, NCC, etc. Uh, if they're needed, and uh, you know, correlate and schedule all that stuff to be done in one upgrade process. The same uh, process works for firmware. You can see up under updates, there's firmware also. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade that because it's a test video, but the same simple upgrades would work in that uh, process uh, also in the same non-disruptive way.